Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to be taking some pre-workouts before we hit the gym because I am bloody tired. Uh, we're going to be doing Eddie's upper day today and... Do I do two or three? Just two? Sad. And then on top of that, we've got LCMs. So I'm a happy boy. Tired boy, but a happy boy. Let's start. So something which I have implemented now into my everyday, I don't know what, yeah, um, is actually jumping up weights a little bit quicker than I usually do. I usually go like really fucking slow, like 2.5 or even 5 at a Five's not bad. I don't know. I, I, I've jumped a little bit quicker now. So I go 25, 30, 35, maybe 37.5, depending if it's a heavy or a lighter day. Uh, so yeah, we're starting with 25s. So let's warm up to our top set. Oh shit, where's the, where's the thing? There we are. how I managed to get 15 out of that, 15 or 14, more than I thought I was gonna get. And that's, I've been really trying to slow down the reps on the eccentric a lot more than I usually do. Get down to the bottom, hold it, and then it kind of like, the weight kind of drags. Like if you're controlling it, stop it for a second, and then it kind of like, just drags it down that little bit more. It's that very nice length and stretch. So, sorry. So I've been really trying to get that dialed in. I still managed to get a fair amount of reps with the 37s, so not complaining, but yeah. I reckon the pump cover comes off. I kind of don't really want to, but also this might be a little bit relatable. I'm not too sure. But when I was first starting in the gym and you know I wasn't as big or whatever, I used to love having a tank top underneath, taking the pump cover off, recording it. I have heaps of footage of it. Like that was my favorite thing to do was taking the pump cover off and revealing everything underneath. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't know. I even when I'm just by myself, at the gym or whatever, sometimes I'm even afraid to take the pump cover off. Don't know why. It's not that I don't even like look good or anything. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes I don't want that attention and you kind of just want to keep everything underneath. Kind of sleeper-like, you know, but for the video. This fucking tank top has like nothing of it. But I used to love wearing this thing. This is like my go-to. Ugh, I wonder if I still look good at it. Especially having the mo <laughs> I give up. Too big. Too big for the stringer, I guess. Since um, since I'm in a cut, uh, cut. 
I'm kind of not really tracking my workouts as much as I usually would. Like, w w when I start to grow, yes, because I want to progressively overload. But when you're cutting, it's more just about, like, training with intensity and purpose, I guess. Um, obviously, if you progress progressive overload, it's important, but, like, it's not the most important thing because you're not really going to grow. Um, at least that's what I think of it anyway. So, one of the bad parts about that is it also means that I keep forgetting how much I've been lifting, especially when I'm jumping from different gyms. I keep forgetting, it's like, hey, when I do this exercise, what weight am I doing? So I kind of just go up to it and I'm like, mm, that's about right. I got that first try. I think last time when I was here and I tried this, I did it like way too light and ended up having to do like 25 reps, which isn't ideal. Uh, but no, I think we've got a good weight this time. Now, if you are doing isolateral movements, so one leg, then the other leg, or one arm, then the other arm, etc., between the two limbs, take like a 30 second rest in between it. Now obviously you've just expended all of your muscle energy in this arm, and yes, you have it all in this arm. However, look, I'm still out of breath. I've still used energy. So don't wait like a full five minutes before doing the other arm. That's ridiculous. You don't need that much. It's like 30 seconds. Just get your ATP back up into your muscles, get your energy back, then go again. It helps. of the microphone pulling down my shirt. That was on my head. Note, I've never done that exercise before in my life. Rape my form. Didn't feel bad. wraps up the back day. Oh, well, not the back day. So that wraps up the full upper day with Eddie. So I don't do upper very often. I usually do push pull legs, uh, which is going to make it kind of awkward for tomorrow because usually it would just be upper and lower that he does. Uh, but hell no, am I hitting legs twice. I only hit legs once a week. It's not like they're a weak point or something of mine. So I kind of can't be fucked, not going to lie. So tomorrow I'm probably just going to take it easy on like a, uh, maybe another upper day but just focus more on different parts of the body i'll figure that out when it comes to it thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye